generic greetings and welcome back to Railroads Today's Beverages. That is a very nice cup of coffee, black, no sugar. Some may even say a damn fine cup of coffee, but uh, I don't know, I've never seen the series. Anyway, in a previous series of videos, we were once again doing some challenges on railroads, and there's been another challenge suggested on a previous video, and that was to do, they called it the Big City Challenge. However, we can substitute city for starting location. And the... The details of the challenge were such that it's hard to really explain, uh, but I'll do my best. Basically, they wanted it so that we make sure that the starting location was it was as big as possible before we move on to anywhere else. So if we start in a very small town that has, say, a smelter, we have to bring ore to that smelter. And then we can get more industry, so say, package goods, and then bring more of that to the town. We can still export from that location to other areas, but before, say, making a very a very wide, a very wide network, we have to always go back to the big city and get that as big as possible. So upgrade everything, do four tracks, do three industries, and get that as big as possible. So get it to a metropolis. That was the overall summary of it, as far as I can tell, before moving on to others. We'll see how effective this is. So basically we're playing tall rather than wide, I think is the overall summary. So over to... I think a US map actually, and we're going to go with Midwest so we can go for Chicago and stuff. And everything else is on default, I think. Yeah, starting location and years, all that. We're not going to randomize location. Have three AI players, and let's go and see how this works or not. As I said, we'll have to spend a lot of money on buying things in the, in the starting location, and hopefully we're in a fairly decent one. So we can't go, say, from our city to a next one. Hang on, have we started? Oh, we started in Cleveland. This is actually not too bad at all. So we'll pause it here. So we're in Cleveland there, and it means that if we wanted to expand out over to Detroit, then we can, but we can't then go from Detroit up to here, but we could go from Cleveland and then route it round over to there. So everything has to come back to here as much as possible. So we're gonna have a look around and see where our competitors lie. I'm having a quick look around. There's Pittsburgh, nothing there. Columbus, nothing. Uh, Charleston, nothing. Oh, here we go. So Cincinnati, we do have Cornelius Vanderbilt, or Vanderby, I'm not really too sure. Lexington, we have Jay Cook, uh, nothing in there are uh, on fine in indianapolis we have jim fisk uh, there's lafayette and chicago with with that building there which yeah i'm going to pretend i know what it's called i really don't obviously anyway over to back to our starting location and what do we have we have uh, industry wise a power plant so a power plant i'm going to try and click on it there and the closest source of actually in this case it's oil i believe and ore was over there so through pittsburgh so do we want to do that it does say demands oil and demands coal. Let's go ahead and we will unpause it. I'm going to do a track over to probably here into Detroit and then we're going to set up that. And this is just going to be a standard passion, passenger and mail line. So we're going to do the standard 3-2 not going to clear the cars and then that should be job done we will then double track it over here because that's going to be our procedure for quite some time and then over to oh actually that's a quite a interesting build there let's go ahead and expand all of these like so we're going to sell some of our some of our stuff and then over to pittsburgh and we'll say click and there we go we can now have some trains going so i think it's just one train actually from there to there and again that's passengers now that we've done that we will once again double track this and i'm actually going to double track it through the entire thing i would assume so from it's very difficult to actually click on that so double track from there and this is going to come all the way through i'll have to sell some of this and come through here and then from this location this is where it gets a little bit of a, it's a bit of a sticking point here. So that's going to go to steep up hill to there and oh, we set a new speed record. 33 miles an hour near the Cleveland Terminal. So let's sell some more stock, place that in there. And then we're going to have a train built here. This is the Pittsburgh Oil Company. Wait until full, go back to that, clear it and then job done. So that is not going, it's not dropping it here. And you can see this thing, this has a power plant. So we are actively against uh, working on this one. Uh, we are obviously just making our Cleveland 
uh, center much bigger. Similar thing for the mining, we're gonna have to spur that off. Although I'm tempted to, I'm tempted to spur it off there. I was gonna go all the way back, but I think there should be sufficient because it's gonna take a while to build this train. Wait until full, go there, clear the car, and then come back. And we'll do the same thing over here. So again, it is another line that will come off and sell that we'll then go down to this mining company here that's a gentle uphill but that should be a fairly easy grade and then once again max that out wait until full close that head back to there and clear the car job done so though those are what five trains that we've managed to build so that's now on the go we have got an empty slot that we could potentially build on because we do have uh Mayor of Battle Creek solicits railway, fair enough. And, oh, Toronto's over there as well, so we could probably double track. Actually, we don't need to double track. What we can do is come from here. Actually, I will double track. I'm going to double track there. And I'm going to head across to Toronto. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's uh, quite, a, quite, a, quite a difficult line. There's the 440 American. I'm going to actually go to uh, a bit of high speed there as well. Having a quick look around as well, see what we've got. Uh, looks like we have no real competitors to speak of. It's uh, just all alright for the time being. I do want to buy out this power plant. It does, however, require... Well, it's 114,000, so... Yeah, let's actually start buying it out now. Because, as you can see, we are... Oh, here we go. This is some people bidding on it. We've just started to get this this line come through so if this starts making money people are going to buy a bid on it more and i really really don't want that nope almost almost missed it there we're nearly on 200,000 generic units of currency oh we're over it now come on right let me just put a cheeky cheeky 50 grand bid in there but i am pretty much bankrupting myself trying to buy this although it will come good and okay 264,000 to get that which is not ideal but this thing is coming in, all of the oil. We now own this industry, which <laughs> currently it's, yeah, it's in debt by a huge amount. But once this turns up, you shall be able to see that we gain a fairly decent chunk of change. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, let's go ahead and get this track over to Toronto. Um, and let's get that built. So once again, it will be a three by two mail and passenger cars. And I think we can build an industry. I think we should build an industry that is about food because we have a food plant there. Sorry, we actually have a food plant over in Detroit, so that would be better for us to build. But yeah, we've got a food mill there and a food mill there, so it's better for us to bring it in here. So let's go ahead and do just that. I'm going to say empty slot and food plant. So this now processes food. So let's go ahead, go straight up to there. We'll place that in and i guess we'll say from there wait until full go back i'm not going to clear the cars because it's right next to it i will however do a bit of a sort of connection there just so i can go around and how do i want to connect this up do i want to just go i think i just want to go out and across there there we are it's not too bad food max it out close go there clear it job done we now probably want to then double track from here over to there and we'll put in this cross section there is a name for it and people do on multiple occasions tell me what this is called and i always end up forgetting the name but it allows it to switch from one side to the other if need be oh that's bad hang on a second let me just let me just slow the game down a bit because that is wrong and I don't think I'm going to be able to fix it. I'm going to have to get rid of that track. Get rid of that track. There we go. And now I can connect it up. For a game this old, it just works. <laughs> Apart from that bit that broke and I had to fix it. But at least we can just fix it. Right, so we're up to what size? We're on to a metropolis. Oh yeah, so we're actually quite... Uh, high up there. That's pretty good. Uh, we should probably... Ooh, Baldwin Sandbox Patent. Let's get a cheeky bid on that. I'm also going to start to buy out some of my own stock, because I'm quite low on that one. 
I'm glad Cleland's got to the size it, uh, size it has already. That's pretty good. Let's um, sail over to Columbus. Although, uh, sell, buy. I want that inclines because I've got a couple of inclines. One there and all of these. So I certainly want to win that. But I think I'm paying over the odds here. Job forecast, grim government warns, manufactured goods, falter on unemployment worries. Right. Looks like Columbus can now have a nice line. Three and two. Back to there. Job done. So what else do we have around here, industry-wise, that we could potentially exploit? Ah, Toronto Timber Company. Welcome to government service. Let's get over there and let's do that. So this will require uh -huh, manufactured goods, actually. Um, furniture plant converts wood into manufactured goods. What else can we get? Oil into manufactured goods. Mm. Can you get a paper mill in this? Converts wood to paper. Right. And where's the nearest place that requires paper? Because everything requires manufactured goods, even though the price has gone down. I'm going to go with manufactured goods, actually. And there's another train, the 260 Mogul Freight. It it's, uh, it's good for. I mean, I've, I'm still on these things, so I'm going to upgrade the lot. This one thing is a bit of a downside. It's, uh, <laughs> upgrading these can be an absolute pain. Especially when you've got a lot of a lot of engines to upgrade. But there we go. There's all of those upgraded. And we're also in debt. Cool. Right, so from there, all of the timber. Go to there. Clear it and go back. Okay. But that as big as we can get it. It's an metropolis with a power plant which we started with, food plant which we built, and a furniture plant which we built. Slight issue. We now have loads of food. I'm not taking it anywhere. So, I think what I'm going to do is have a train built which is going to be manufactured goods and food together. Actually, we're going to probably send more food than manufactured goods because we have the opportunity to do so. And I might as well come back with passengers and mail. There we go. So that should hopefully be all right. You can see it, we've got a lot. Oh, is that stuck? Oh, that's stuck. Yeah, and it's going through. Right, we've got we've got we've got uh, trains going through one another now because of the huge backlog there, which is obviously something that you can only get on a certain difficulty level. So which one's that? It's going the timber company. See, I would have thought that have used. Oh, new news reader, re, uh, readership quadruples, so I should have gone for paper. I would have thought they'd use this other track, but for some reason they don't seem to be using it. Maybe just because of the way I've built it. Hmm. I guess I could, if I really wanted to do, do that. Give them a bit more of an option. Okay. Well, that's given me a lot of cash. In fact, you know what? Oh, what's this? Half's got the cost to build tunnels. I don't think I really want that. You know what I'm going to do? I think we can extend the challenge. Let's just see if we can only... <laughs> um, only use stuff from Cleveland. Don't go from, like, anywhere else. And just keep buying people's stock out. Would that be possible? Currently trying to buy Cornelius out. And I own, I think, 60% of my own stock. Problem with the game is that if you slow down or stop, that's it. Game over for you, basically. There's loads of food. I need another a line coming from here, going over to... Hmm. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have a line coming from here. It's going to go across to there. <laughs> it's going to go around over to... Siginar, I think that is. I don't recognise the place. From here, then, 
I'm going to take food and manufactured goods. I know this is not requesting manufactured goods, but it will eventually. There's the 46010 wheeler passenger train. Good. There's that built anyway, so that's going to build a train then go. You can see it's all clipping through one another. This is a huge, huge, huge bottleneck. Other sizes of magnitude are available. Let's do that just to try and alleviate some of this. I will also put in these sort of cross pieces. So then go. Actually, that's not a cross. You can't build those in this game. Uh, Cornelius, we are able to buy out a lot of their stock. You can see the Jim Fisk is roaring ahead with 7.5 million. Our stock is nearly up to 10. But Cornelius, not so much. I'm able to keep buying. Is there anything else around here that I haven't exploited? There's loads... <laughs> I was going to say, there's loads of stuff here, over here in Canada that's just all trees, but, well, that's, surely that's Canada, right? Um, we've got a f cattle company over there I can't do anything about, because obviously we're trying to focus on one city. But look at that, we do own 50% of Cornelius' stock. And this is a metropolis. Detroit is also a metropolis, but, you know, it didn't start, no, I think it started that way as well. He's supplying all those resources there. What I'm going to do from here is, it's going to be weird, but I'm going to spur that off and go right across over to Charleston. And from here, we'll have the standard train of food and goods from Cleveland go down, rebuild it as a passenger train but because it's on this line here it should just stop there so there's not a big problem obviously the game automatically puts in all of the signals and stuff so you don't have to worry about it which is one of the reasons why it's so so uh, infinitely playable and very easy to get into all right so that's now working there is a oh passenger delivery bonus let's go ahead and get that one then should be quite an easy thing to get one would hope. And makes farming a kick while grain prices rise. Good, because we have money in that. Uh, from here, I'm going to just bring this line up, uh, off over to Fort Wayne. I've actually gone a little bit further past Fort Wayne, but it matters not. And we'll have a 3 2 set up with. Uh, see, I can't really start to build food and goods. I think we'll just have a passengers, really. Fort Wayne because we're running out of running out of uh, stuff we can take here we're not producing the huge amounts of food and uh, built goods that we are trying to export see there's there's actually empty this thing so I'm gonna alter, alter its concert by doing that I think we'll do that across the board actually so it only goes like that. And then this one I think is also the same. Yeah. So we're just reducing the size of those trains. Oh, there's a bit more that we can buy out for Cornelius. And, oh, 45 mile an hour near Fort Wayne. That's because it's just a gentle downhill hill over to there. And, oh, more grain. Uh, there's a stockyard as well. Nope, it's not in our city. Not going to bother with it. So from here... All the way over to there. And all the grain that we can take. Max that out. Close. Go there. <laughs> it's ludicrous when you see that. It's just it's everything from this Cleveland terminal just spiralling out. Looks really good. Uh, oh, there's lumber over there as well. Okay. What I'm going to do then is from here go along this way this is starting to be like the bridge challenge where we just are bridging from everywhere there we go 
And because you can only get four of these tracks in one uh, one thing, yeah, it's a bit of a problem. I'm also very well aware I haven't upgraded any of these two uh, stations or terminals. Um, that's deliberate. I just haven't haven't done that. Oh, there's a freight train there. The 280. Very nice. We do still have some old locos on here. And that is just better in every way. Okay, we'll do that then. Because we do have quite a way to go. I haven't actually checked the objectives either. Because our objective was, well, to do this challenge basically. I know some of these are passenger trains and upgrading, but it just seems better anywhere, as far as I can tell. Hmm. Yeah. Over eight cars. At five cars, it's about the same. So yeah, there's re they might as well just upgrade our entire... I was going to say fleet. Is it a fleet? A fleet of trains? Oh, interesting. Jay Cook, they've bought some of our stock. All right, okay. This train has been a mobile for quite some time. Oh yeah, that's that's all kinds of horribleness going on there. They're just stuck. There's just so much stuff coming in now. <laughs> They're having to just go through Japanese steel flooding uh, U.S. industrial markets. We don't have any money in steel. Yeah, this is fairly ludicrous. Um. Can't bridge over to there. Nothing much I can do over there. All right. So my stock is. We'll have a quick check through the list here. My stock is sixteen and a half million. Cornelius seven and a half. Jim Fisk eleven and a half. Jay Cook just over eleven. So that's interesting. There's half cost to build bridges. That's not something I really care about. So Jake Cook is sort of hot on our heels, really. And I'm just trying to buy as much stock as I possibly can. But because I've limped ourselves to one city... I know this actually wasn't the intended challenge. The intended challenge was to m make the first city you start in the biggest possible, then move on to others and do the same thing. But I think this is more challenging. And it's genuinely something that I don't know if it's possible. A lot of the other challenges are interesting. And will ser and do genuinely serve as a challenge but not as difficult as something like this where we are deliberately going against how you normally play which is just expand as fast as possible and get as much stuff transported as possible and you can see we're on 800,000 now I'm just trying to get the 900 so I can buy the last bit of stock here and there we go so we now own 60% of Cornelius's empire and 20% of Jim's. But Cornelius also owns one of Jim's. 10% uh, should I say. One unit of stock. So it's 6 million to buy of Cornelius. Hmm. Is it possible I can buy out Cornelius? That would give me a 30% stake in Jim's. It is possible. I'm trying to think if there's anywhere else we can expand to. I'm just looking around here. There's a food. Oh, the Lexington power plant. Well, I'm not going to bid on it. Oh, there's oil. And also Chicago. I mean, we could <laughs> go all the way to Chicago. Hello, Chicago. There we go. And connect all those up. And then double track. All the way across. And then go say from that side. To then to that side. There we are. And have oil. Go there. Clear it. Come back. Uh, actually we could. I think we could do. Bring back. That to Chicago. And then you clear the depot. So take oil to the Cleveland Terminal. Come back with food and manufactured goods. Then go back to the 
Oil company? Yeah, that's alright. That'll work. That'll work. It's far from ideal. But it is what it is. There we go. Let's now set up stuff. They want to switch lines. They can. But they're all coming in here. <laughs> alright, well... I've not upgraded anything in here. So I haven't upgraded to a station or a terminal. And... I don't know if that's... Are we falling behind because of that? We're on 20 mil, but Jay's on 13 mil. And Jim's on 16. He's hot on our heels, really, Jim. Hmm. Okay. I think I may have to upgrade these because it increases the load and unload time. Oh, there we go. That's the one you need. Parsons steam turbine pin. Decreased freight pulling power for all trains. Needing that. Looks like we're going to get it for steel. 120,000. That's a 10 year pin. That. Brilliant. Brilliant. There doesn't seem to be any. Doesn't say train stuck, but one of those just literally went through another. Oh no, it's actually building. I don't know if it's stuck or not. It may be. <laughs> it's so. Um, all over the place, I can't really tell. Let's have a quick look at the objectives as well. So, victory. Nobody's done Steel Town to the Windy City, and there's the beef. Nobody's done that either. <laughs> Jim Fisk's on 17.1, and I'm on 21.3. I think he is just starting to edge towards us. We have two options, as far as I can see, because anything else I build in, uh, in Cleveland here... Ooh, the 462 Pacific... 80 miles an hour preferred is passenger. Let's have a quick look. For the cars that we run, it is very, very, very good, actually. Yes, it will actually do that 80 miles an hour. You know what? I don't think I really need it. I think it was going to cost. Ooh, how much is it going to cost? Okay, it costs 112,000 generic units of currency, which is the trading value of, oh, you get 87. Oh. No, sorry, seven. Right. So let's call it 100,000 each loco. We've got about 15, 20 locos. Yeah, that's, that's not happening. So either I upgrade these to stations and to terminals to try and increase our profit, which is still within the... technically within the rules of the original challenge, but not... The one that I'm... Toothpick Tragedy triggers lumber loss. <laughs> Shouldn't laugh, but there you are. Um, yeah, it's, it's technically still within the original challenge, but not within what we're trying to accomplish here. So instead, what we're going to do is save up the money and try to buy our Cornelius. Oh, 25% delivery bonus for perishables? I think we do have perishables, technically. I mean, it looks like it's going to go for quite a lot of money. I will say a quarter of a million is my cutoff. Got it for 210. Not as cheap as I would like, but good enough. Jim's creeping up. See, I've my, my economy is, is it's faltered. I'm only on 22 million. Jim's jumped up by a couple of million in the same time. Jim Fisk rewarded. Oh, he's getting stronger. It's deliberately hampering ourselves like this. And we've got all these trains that are stuck and they can't go anywhere. But we're on 2 million. And what do we need? 5 million to buy our Cornelius. No, stick to it. I keep on looking. Do we want to upgrade? Do we want to expand from Columbus? I mean, we could expand from Columbus to Cincinnati and have all these going and that would be easy. That would be it. That would be done. We'd be, we'd have uh, completed this by now. But no, stick to our guns. Two and a half million. Still looking at that. Eyes on the prize. Trying to buy our Cornelius. I mean, once we buy our Cornelius, I'll be liquidating the entire assets anyway. Um, just to keep the original idea. Wow, Jim just spent, how much was that? I think it was nearly three quarters of a million. And their stocks have gone down. Mayor of Big Rapids solicits railway. Yes, they do. Um, where else can I build? I haven't built into Cincinnati, have I? From here, then, we could probably go down. 
to... That's, that's a weird one. See, there's like a big dip in the land there. You can't really see it from that angle, but yeah, there is a dip in the land there. And... From there. Go on there, and then... Loads of manufactured goods for some reason. That'll do us. Cost is a little bit of cash, but I think it's worth it. We already started a terminal in here, and... Oh! Didn't actually see what that was. That is the 282... Uh... Mercado. Made in Lima, 1910. It's freight, and it will carry... <laughs> Look at that flat line, that flat red line for mill. In fact, the flat line for pretty much everything. It will carry pretty much everything at 40 miles an hour with 8 cars, no problem. Everything else, I think it's uh, 6 cars and it'll do it. Increased speed and tight turns. Why not? We'll put a cheeky bid on that one. Just a cheeky bid, you understand. It has to be cheeky. And, uh... Oh, it looks like these guys are very much wanting to get it. If I can get it for under 200,000, hopefully that'll be alright. Yeah, we got it. So, 3 point... No, I was going to say 3.1 mil, but no, 3 mil, and it's going down because we've got so many trains just locked in here. This would not be possible if it wasn't for the difficulty that we're running on, which the difficulty is trains will stop and wait if the track is blocked, and then wait and wait and wait, and then they go, sack it, and then they just go through each other. They uh, basically give up and uh, go through. I mean, I could I could alter some of these. Let's have, let's have a quick look and see where the profits are. So a lot of these are not even running any profit. So that one there. Profit nothing. Scrap it. If it ain't running profit, it's getting scrapped. Ooh, apart from that one. <laughs> and that one as well, we should probably run. That's fine. That one's okay. That one's... Ooh! Columbus to Cleveland is a massive burden. That can go. Basically, I think it's just the passengers, isn't it? A lot, a lot of the passenger stuff we're getting rid of. That one there. Yeah. Some of these are alright. Some of these as well might say they're making a loss, like this one. But, that could be because of the block track that we've had. Because of some of these more pathetic ones. That one though. Oh, no, I don't want to upgrade that. That's just awe. From where to where. Oh, there and there. Wow, okay. So apparently this one, minus 60 if it's going from here over to there. Right, why? Tell you what, we'll make it a bit easy for, easier for them and <laughs> do that. There we go. That should hopefully work out. It means it can take a little bit of a detour if it really wants. We're also getting some more music now. <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm not seeing as many trains getting stuck, but although they have just went through each other there. Hmm. So where are we at? 28 mil. I'm still on top, but only just. Jim on 24 hot now heels. 24 and a half, actually. And Jay Cook on 20, and Cornelius on 16. Just about to top that 17 mark. It's going to cost us about 8 million to buy him out. Uh, cheaper to build rails. I'll put a cheeky bid on it. Shouldn't really, because we're not really going to build much more. Yeah, you can have it for 170. And you can see now that the... Because the AI is... Bald as brass, basically. Because it's got all of this cash. It's been able to buy a lot of these industries out. A lot of the times, you don't tend to see that. I mean, they do buy industries, you understand. But I've not seen them buy it like that. Uh, vicious cold snap strikes region. Coal prices heat up. Excellent, because we have... Um, one... Two... Actually, I don't have that coal company. <gasps> And here's me now building a... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Here's me building loads of rail when I could have bought and made this cheaper. 
There we go. So from there along, across to there. And it's that one. Yeah. Didn't realise that was there. Clear that. All right. 6.6 .6 mil. Let's go through the trains again and see what's not making cash. I'm just looking at profit here. Oh, P5A class. Uh, that's a 70 miles an hour freight train. 120. I'm very tempted to upgrade, but again, eyes on the prize, I think. Oh, wow, look at that. Profit is minus a lot because it just can't get in. Everything's just so, so bunched up. I'm going to get rid of that. Even though a lot of these passenger stuff, even though they are making good money, they're not making as much money as the freight stuff would if it could get in. That one there is 134. Why is that making so much cash? Ah, because we're carrying freight and a bit of, bit of people as well. I mean, that one there, that's just... Oh, it's a sim similar thing. But the, and the profit's gone right up. Yeah. Wow. Cleveland to Detroit. 400,000. That's really good. That one still is at minuses. That one's positives. That one's... That's always negative, that one. That's the one I've just built. So it can't be always. Technically, it can be. But I say it as if I knew it's been like running for 20-odd years. Anyway, Jim Fisk still hot on our heels at 27. We are on 31 and a half. Um, however... 8.3 million is required to buy out Cornelius in full. That will then give us all of his assets, which I will immediately liquidate. And then we will own 30% of Jim Fisk. Let's do it. Buy. Liquidate. Cornelius. Vanderbilt or Vanderby. Gone. And that means that it's going to cost 17 million to buy out Jim Fisk and 20 million for Jay Cook. Big difference if I kept Cornelius's trade and his assets and everything else instead of selling the rail, I would have been aiming, uh, getting a lot more money. Oh, here we go. Half's maintenance costs on all trains. Since half of my trains end up sitting in sidings, just losing money, this is something I need and I will pretty much pay whatever it costs. I mean, if it goes over to a couple of billion, I might reconsider my decision. 180. A steal. A steal at that price. And beverage is now cold. 17 million. I'm trying to extrapolate the outcome because otherwise it's just going to be a long waiting game. Let's have a quick look around, actually, to see what our competitors are doing. There's Jim Fisk, who is... Massively headed into job fastest grim government ones manufactured goods falter. That's twice I think in the game. So Jim has gone over to Big Rapids, also to the uh, Battle Creek Woodworks Inc. Did I say there's something over here? I thought it said there was something over there. You know. Yeah. Apparently. Uh, <laughs> hang on. What's that? F series. Uh, line there so apparently over there which is two trillion miles i think <laughs> is that right um we can get wood over there we can transport the woods is that two billion one two is that trillion or is that billion <laughs> it's quite a it's quite a ways away it's like to the moon and back and the rest and the rest i guess yeah oh good grief anyway um it looks like they're very much lent into... Cincinnati's got not much. Oh, it's not got much, but you can see where all of this... All the gravel was. This is where Cornelius used to have his his track. Um, we've got Lexington and Louisville. Pretty big. Over here as well. Pretty big. Is this two different companies? It's Jim and Jay. Yeah. I mean, obviously, they're the ones that really should be against one another. Jim is still... Well, both of, them are, both of them are keeping up. I'm on 37.5 million. Jim at 31.5. Jay at 28. And it's going to cost me 18 million 
to buy them out. Probably close to 22 million by the time we get to that stage. I'm also very aware that I'm running this thing. And that's just a much better... Well, that's the better one, really, for freight. I'm going to wait for the next loco and I might upgrade there. Because I'm still on really old locos. Hmm. There it is. 484 Golden State. 90 miles an hour cargo is mixed. That is what we want to hear. Yeah, okay, let's do it. And this is where... I, once, I was just on 7 million there. Let's see how much it's going to cost to upgrade everything. And whether or not it's been worth it. Because I don't think it is. It's just delaying our... And buying out of other companies. But it will also increase our stock price. Which means that hopefully... We're not going to be bought out by someone else. After all of that, it... Obviously not including the money we've made. Oh, they're, they're deliberately fa Oh, they're much faster. 60, <laughs> 60 miles an hour. And that's a nice looking loco. Bit heretical, I know, but I'm not a big fan of a lot of the American locos and the way they look. But that one I do I do quite like. Uh, yeah, so we were just under 7 million when we started to do that. And I think we went to 5.5. So I think it's alright. It's worked out quite well should also check out our industry report. Uh, sorry, goods. So, passengers and mail, somehow we're managing to dominate that. Food, uh, we are on 27%, so second uh, to Jim Fisk, who's on 59. Manufactured goods, we are second on 28%. Cornelius, technically 39, so yeah. Um, we will be higher now because they don't exist. Automobiles, he was the only one, Cornelius, to transport those, uh, 72%. Livestock, Jim Fisk on 74%. Grain, we're on 67%, top dog. Wood, 51% for Jay Cook and then 48 for ourselves. Coal and oil, we are the highest on 74 and 44 respectively. No paper has been transported and steel was Cornelius, which would make sense if he's manufacturing automobiles anywhere. So there you are. We are on 42 mil. That's how much we are worth. 43 million. I could spend, oh, extra cash drives up to man for manufactured goods. Well, good, because they've been in the tank uh, a couple of times. Oh, wow, hang on, wait, let's pause a second, because, oh, no, it doesn't matter. Um, now that we are in 1946, the wagons have changed. So, normally, the obviously, the locos change all the time, but what doesn't change f uh, often anyway, as often, should I say, is the wagons. So, these wagons are a lot more... Um, a lot more modern. Those are still old-fashioned, but you see, there you go, the oil cars. I think those are now better. They've got, like, newer, more modern markings on it. Don't think they're markings from 1948, but those certainly look... Those things, these big uh, grain carriers or something. Are they grain? Yeah, grain. They look a lot more modern. Cool. All right. Well... I think we have started to romp ahead. We're now nearly 10 million above Jim. It seems that I was wrong about those local upgrades. Seems to be upgrading those was the best thing we could have done because it's massively increased the amount of money we're getting. And I'm going through all of these trains here and not... Oh, there's a GP series. See, that is what I look at and think, oh yeah, modern, modern US sort of uh, loco. At least the look of it, anyway. To my very untrained eye, you understand. None of these are... None of those are, uh, yeah. Losing money. Some of them are making a low profit, 38, but they're all making cash. Which is good. So, looking at Jim and Jay. Jim is... Well, I'm on 49 million... Jim on 39 and a half. Jay 36 and a half as well. We could wait a little bit longer and buy out Jay. But why would we do that? We'd just best to buy out Jim. And ideally you would just sit on what we buy and let it run. But 
we have to liquidate it. <laughs> that that's that's sort of the uh, original intent there, I guess. But yeah, I think we can probably call this challenge a success unless something just miraculously like breaks out of nowhere or we get bought out. I think we can say that's been a success. Original challenge to oh Western Gold Rush, uh, brisk demand for passengers. Well, we do have some of that, some in that. Actually, we're the highest, I think, on the on the report, it said. Yeah, passengers and mail. So, yeah, original challenge. Start in a location and only expand out to another city, or rather expand from that city, if we've ma maxed out the original one. So, in this case, Cleveland, we started with a power plant. We then, obviously, expanded over to all the things that could support said plant. Well, so it was the mining companies and the oil. We also went over to... Things like Detroit and to Pittsburgh and down here as well to Columbus. Got those, moved over into Toronto, built a food plant to then get the food from the Toronto mills there. And then finally uh, to a furniture plant to get the timber and then build manufactured goods and then expand outward from there. And we've gone pretty much to the other side of the map as well over to Chicago and the Chicago Oil Company. We're still bringing stuff back and forward. We have not... Uh, done in a, we've not went to a city and then expanded from there. We've brought everything back to Cleveland. We have obviously gone through some of the other cities, but we've never, um, like, really focused on like stopping there. I think we did one over here where we call oil to where we started, back to Chicago, and then over to the oil. So it's still within the rules of the challenge, and we've not upgraded any of these things. We've still, got, we've, still got, we've still got depots. We haven't even gone for a station or a terminal. But we're going to buy out Jim. We're going to liquidate his assets. Poor Jim. Poor Jim. And there you go. Because we bought out his assets, we now have 30% of Jay Cooks. And we're on 54 million. They're on 41 million. The writing's on the wall. I'm not going to sit here for another 15 minutes while we get enough cash to buy them out. We have won. It's just a case of time. Uh, and until we can buy that. That has been a bit of railroads and a very, very interesting and difficult challenge. There was a couple of times there. Now lumber's gone down. A couple of times when I genuinely thought that we may not win this one. And at any point we could have been bought out. Someone could have just come along and went, oh, we're going to buy you out. Um, that could still technically happen because we are only 15 million above J. And he owns 40% of our stock, whereas I only own 30% uh, of his. But with 6 million, and to that million being in the last minute while I've been talking, I think, as I said, writing's on the wall there. So we're going to leave it there for a bit of railroads. So hope you have enjoyed this one. Uh, I know it was a little bit slow towards the mid-game, and, well, mid and late, really, because we haven't been building. But it is the challenge, and I think hopefully it has been uh, quite interesting. If you like what you see, by all means, let me know. hope you have enjoyed it. And if you have any suggestions for other challenges, or just more of this sort of thing that you would like to see, then by all means, let me know in the comments. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.